involved in the mix. Again, you know, Sam Degara is always a problem for every team, but he has his weaknesses. So you've got the size of Degara for Hong Kong. Now in the speed, the, that backcourt combination of McKinney and Tucker for the Black Bears. You know, for the tallest guy in the league, Standing about 7'4", seven, 7'5", seven, maybe. Sam Deguara just averages 11 and a half rebounds a game. Is that, are you surprised to hear that number? Well, it's just because how teams play. You know, the, the game now is played at a quicker pace. A lot of outside shots like we see right there. So, you know, that, that leads to the, the demise of the, the stats of Deguara because he has to be pulled out of the game sometimes. A large reason why the Macau Black Bears failed to get a win against CLS is because of the hot shooting of the Indonesians. Well, Macau starts up strong with a three, but Deguara answers back with a bucket in the paint. And you see there Deguara having to fight three, four guys at times. And that's, you know, this is where his teammates need to come in. If his teammates play well, then that'll open up Deguara inside. Lai misses from outside. Gives a chance for Hong Kong to set things up. Entering the new year, they brought in this new import in Odarian Bassett, and he has really made a mark here in the ABL. Wow, Bassett right there. You can see what he can do. You know, you said you compared him to Kemba Walker. I'm telling he, you. How he dances with that <laughs> basketball, you know, putting his defender on skates that time and just finishing in the buck, in, around the rim. Last year, it was Tucker. The year before that, it was... Elliot and they too have set the standards for imports. Very similar players. They play this a similar position and it's always a debate nowadays. Season of the ABL, this league has gotten bigger and better. The most number of teams ever at 10. And we are enjoying an intense battle to begin with. Marcus Elliott knocking down a three. Nice execution of the time out there. Running a Spain pick and roll with Elliot setting a back pick for Deguara and that opens up himself for that three-point shot. McKinney looking to answer, couldn't do so. Lie with the ball. Self. And has a lot of confidence playing in on the floor. Tucker, look at that, Ooh. just so easy with that jumper. Silky smooth fall away coming off the screens. And before this game began, before we started the coverage, we were talking about Anthony Tucker and how he's just so fluid and that you'll mistake him for someone who doesn't put that much effort into a game. But basketball is just so easy for him. Yeah, and take a look at it. It's almost like nonchalantly walking down the floor and, and shooting that three. And it's been so effective for him. How about that move from Bassett? And you know, in contrast to Tucker, you got Bassett and Elliott who you, who plays with a lot of intensity out there, a lot of energy, so they show a lot of emotion. And it's very exciting to watch the contrast of how these players play. Watkins to lie. Gets the guard to bump on the fake. Look at that local like Katong. Unafraid. Through a lot of contact. And this is what I'm saying. This local has a lot of confidence. He's not afraid to make plays on his own, not always deferring to his imports. Not every day that you see a man who has the guts to go up against a 7-5 defender. Bassett though, creating Ooh. space for himself. Nice body control there, protecting the ball from Mike McKinney, who we know is a very, very excellent defender in the ABL. Bassett has brought in and has given a different dynamic to the Hong Kong Eastern McKinney now loses that basketball. He recovers. Deguara was there, though. Watkins showing some range. If Watkins can knock that down consistently in this game, Deguara will have problems. Bassett sliding. Force Deguara to extend out, to step out, and, you know, be out of his comfort zone. It seems to be a scheme. You know, teams have chosen between two schemes of trying to match up with Sam Deguara. You see how... He just over some quickness and outside shooting. They can negate the strengths of Deguara. Deguara playing his first season with Hong Kong Eastern. Made it all the way to the finals of last year with the Mono Vampire. In fact, he was a large reason why Mono eliminated Hong Kong last season. But Watkins is now defying the defense of Deguara underneath. Indeed, not only shooting for him the outside, but challenging him in the paint as well. 
12 apiece for these two teams. Bassett sends it to his backward partner. Five seconds to shoot. Elliott loses that basketball. Watkins takes a hold of it. Careless on that forward pass to McKinney. Hong Kong takes it away. Adam Shu straight to the cup. No whistle. We're tied at 12 still. That was a smart play, but talk on screens. Not for one second can they allow the guard to just walk to the paint. It's too big of a target for his teammates. Bassett. Now it Chang. Deguara has to put it up. Hits the front of the rim. That's the thing about Deguara. You know, he's a big body, but his balance needs improvement so that he can stay inside and fight among these guys who are always pushing him. Tucker looking for the foul. Watkins recovers. Short of that jumper. Exchange of misses here for these two teams. Four and a half minutes remaining in the first. 12 all still the score. Shu. Passed on the open jumper. Deguara had position underneath, but Elliott will draw the... And I'm really thinking, and it has been true for most of this season, the big challenge has fallen on the shoulders of Adam Shu, who has had to play that four position when he's maybe a natural two even. Yep, and you know, that's just the game. The coach is just trying to find ways, you know, where he can... Has that been a global trend? You know, I never like, when I coach, I never like, boxing in a player to play a certain position like just saying one two three four five you know one sub for each other two sub for each other you know it's just basically you just put five basketball players on the floor five effective basketball players on the floor and play ball play smart basketball Shu hits nothing there Watkins has had a very productive first quarter now with seven points and four rebounds here's McKinney slithering through out to Watkins could not move Deguara out of the way. Watkins had an open jumper there, turned it down. On the other side, you could not get it to fall. Oh, and Watkins on defense and save your fouls. Not a very smart play that time by Ryan Watkins. Possession goes back to Hong Kong Eastern. Here's Bassett. Stops on a dime, puts it up. Three is good. There you go again. Very, very interesting. I'm really excited to see these two backward combinations battle each other. Two explosive, four explosive guards. McKinney answers back with a three. And like so, you know, there's, there's going to be a very, very interesting and entertaining duel. And points were a bit scarce to begin this ball game, but now they're piling up as Elliott drains another J. Like you said, it's picking up now. The guards are starting to heat up, starting to take control of the ball game. I think they're feeling that the pace is too slow for them. Time for them to ramp it up. Tucker, kick out to you. Watkins down on the floor. Oh, McKinney turned the ball over. So that's what impresses me the most about Mike McKinney. He takes care of that basketball despite being aggressive. Won the Heritage Import MVP last season. Of course, that was taken away from the rosters. Nice inside pass to Deguara. And Sam knew just what to do with that basketball. It's going to be tough. If you're going to switch the pick and roll that's, that involves Iguara, the weak side, they have to drop down and bump Iguara, help that other guy push him out of the paint. Watkins missing on the J, although he was able to draw Iguara out from the paint. Bassett front rims that three. Tucker grabs the board. 21 to 18, the lead of Hong Kong. A minute and 34 remaining. These ball screen actions. And this is the real challenge for Hong Kong because teams will always involve Deguara in the ball screen, trying to defend that. That's you know, and it opens up shots like that for Mike McKinney because Deguara, you know, is just sticking his feet in the, in the paint, not even caring to to step out and help his teammate on that ball screen action. And if you're Hong Kong, McKinney is the last man you want to see heat up. Good pass again from Chanto Deguara, almost tearing that rim apart. And same kind of. Gravity when in terms of mistakes. The Guara rolling to the basket. That weak side defender has to come in early and bump the Guara near the free throw line to try to delay him from rolling to that basket, you know, unfazed. I hope that power of a Sam De Guara. He's a hazard out there. Just a behemoth. Eight seconds left for the Black Bears. McKinney dancing in front of Bassett, trying to get away. McKinney drops the deuce. Again, just very solid and steady. Will never panic. 
Eight seconds left. He produces a shot without turning the ball over. Half a minute remaining. We continue to say since O'Darren Bassett entered the picture for Hong Kong. That's always going to be a good call. That's a foul on the feather. Sorry, just to interrupt it's you. Okay. Uh, fortunately for Hong Kong, they're not yet in penalty. Tucker puts it up. It's a miss. Bassett up high for that rebound. Showing some athleticism. Young guard. Now it's going to be last shot time. I wonder if Bassett will take it by himself or look for the Guara. Identical. Eight seconds now. They turn the shot clock off. Bassett sees the opening. Feeds Tang underneath. Gets the deuce. Might have gotten away with travel. Tang Chi Hang. Trying to get up high and rise on our team standings. And of course, get in a better position. As early as now, you want to take as many wins as you can. Leaky getting stopped there. Ricky Yang has entered the ball game. Bassett feeding the Guara. Watkins Ooh. made that spin to the bucket, you know, and you know, maybe a little bit of flop, but he sold it enough for the referees to blow the whistle. McKinney has 10 points in this game. Tried to go behind his back to Watkins. Ball was lost momentarily. Tucker using the pick from Watkins. Anthony Tucker. Hesitation, step back. What a move from Tucker. What a tough shot. I mean, that play was going nowhere. And then just Tucker just got a little bit of separation, manufactured a three-point shot, three-point bucket out of nowhere. And that's the thing about Anthony Tucker. It always seems like nothing's going to happen. And then suddenly, you'll understand that everything was orchestrated by him. Exactly. And his demeanor, like, just cool, calm, collected. How about that shot, though? Ricky Yang. This is important for the locals of, the, of, of Hong Kong Eastern. If they can hit outside shot, it opens up the floor so much more for their imports to operate. McKinney drops it to defending there. Leakey has had a good stretch of games, even though Hong Kong Eastern lost their last two. He has actually played very well in 2019. Get Watkins now with eight points, four rebounds, and three assists. Here's Hong Kong Eastern, though. Game tied at 29. Eight minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the first half. Tan Chi Hang sees an opening. That lane was wide open for him. That happened because his man was busy bumping the Guar from behind, preventing an easy roll to the basket. It was a correct thing to do defensively. He was just late recovering back to his man and closing out the lane. Tucker. Could not get the bounce. Bass and Macau really crushed him. 114 to 95. Tucker, quick trigger. Nothing there. Good defense right there on the contest, but careless, careless turnover. He didn't have to dribble it in that side of the floor. Tried to do too much. Tan Chi Hang. Now it's Macau. McKinney stopping on a dime, dropping the three. If the Guara will continue to stay in the paint, and the Black Bears continue to set good ball screens for McKinney. That shot will be there all the time. 13 points now for Mike McKinney. Tan has been extremely aggressive to begin this game. Well, he does open up an offensive rebound for Deguara. Yes, but to the Black Bears' credit, that's the only second offensive rebound by Deguara. So, so far, they've been able to control that side of the game not allowing the guard to get a lot of offensive rebounds. Eastern with a stop. Macau with a counter steal. McKinney to Watkins. Deguara could not get to that shot on time. All sorts of problems are for Deguara defensively. You know, his lack of foot speed is be being exploited a lot by the Black Bears. Here's Tan. A bump there. And giving a lot of energy at it. Looking at the stat sheet though, Coach Josh, it's a tight game. Just a one-point lead for Macau with six and a half minutes remaining in the second quarter. But these teams have been getting their points from in different manners. Macau is leading fast break point or points off turnovers 10 to 3, while Hong Kong is dominating points in the paint 18 to 6. Yeah, that's just the size and you know also the, the two the backcourt mates, Bassett and, and um, Elliot, are able to penetrate inside and get a lot of easy baskets as well in the half court. A three attempt for Macau. It's a miss. 
Hong Kong has to be careful with their errors, though, because when they first met these two teams, or sorry, in the last loss of Hong Kong against Saigon, De Guara, oh. look at it, slam it over everyone. If he can get his balance like that, it's always an easy bucket. McKinney, though, that's his spot, misses this time. Knocked down two three-pointers from that spot before missing. And you can see the contrast. See that quick shot by McKinney now. Hong Kong, they always want to set it up so that they go out. A respectable, uh, maybe Pretty on good, average, yeah. but it allowed 28 points of turnovers for Saigon. It's basically two points per turnover. And that's because they have a slow player right there that they need to cover for in, in uh, those transition those transition attacks by the opponents and that's quite hard to do how about Lai he has been a factor in this game drilling that three he's got five Ricky Yang's calling the shots Lee Key thought about it Lee Key drives to the paint oh nice pass there the way to do that is get the win here over Hong Kong Eastern but they're trailing by two points Wu Chuk Pan though missed his Missed both of his free throws. A little bit of half-court press there after the free throw. But the Black Bears break it easily. I also like the confidence Coach Edward Torres is giving his players. He's rotating his players a lot. You know, Deguara is sitting on the bench right now. He's rotated Elliott and, and Bassett. They've, you know, they've had turns sitting on the bench and resting. And that's a great contrast. You see a lot of players coming in for Hong Kong as we see another fast break, like you said. You know, fast break opportunities for the Black Bears, but you know, in contrast, where Hong Kong has been rotating their players, you will see the Macau Black Bears almost play McKinney, Watkins, and, and Tucker for almost 40 minutes each game. Ricky Yang knocking down the three pointer. Well, in the first two possessions that De Guara was out of the out of the game, immediately Macau getting two point uh, two buckets in the paint. Nathan New tries from outside, doesn't get it. Watkins. That's the Guara factor. He's not out there to collect those rebounds. And Anthony Tucker makes good with the three. University of Macau, thanks for joining us. Wherever you are in the region or even in the world, if you're in Southeast Asia, make sure that you check out all the ABO games on Mono Max. A miss there for Hong Kong. Chance for Macau to up their lead. Tucker, Yang on him, playing sticky defense. Sends him to the Guara, which is a good move. Trying to challenge the guard there, but again, Watkins is always open on the pop. Oh, a horrible a miss there. I honestly did not see if it bounced off of a Macau player. It seemed like Elliot was the only one there. Lie, challenged by Yang. Layups rather than, you know, guys having to make two free throws. But, you know, that's still a positive. You force them to foul and send you to the line. That's still a positive in that, tra in that transition attack. The guard is just having his way down in the block. Already with 15 points, matching his average for the season. But again, the complexion changes right away when the guard steps into, into the ball game. And that's the pop I'm talking about that's all, that will always be open. So all Watkins needs to do is set himself up, set his feet, and be ready to knock down that jump shot. Or staying away from fouls on the defensive end, but it's when he's trying to get position against Watkins where he gets built for it. Yeah, it's just really the curse of being the biggest guy all the time on the floor. You get called for fouls. Other guys don't normally get called for just because of the sheer size. And maybe referees feel that you get to bully others by, by doing the same actions that other players do as well. Elliot looking for his big man. The inside pass, you know, for... And not let him just get in there very, very comfortably. Elliot, quick trigger. Transition again. Short. McKinney. Good sprint by DeGuara defensively. That's what you want to see from the big guy. Here's Mike McKinney. Pulls up. Nothing there. Oh, DeGuara and Elliott battling each other for the rebound. Ricky Yang comes away with it. Passes out to Bassett. Elliott. Elbow J. Money. And you can see Elliott and Bassett. You know, Bassett very willing to pass the ball to Elliott. Me, he had a, quite a bit of an advantage in that forward pass but you know he's very comfortable giving the ball up to his teammate McKinney could not get it over Deguara oh how will Bassett and Elliott play well together both of them have 11 points in this game 
Far inside, they can just really concentrate on their man, knowing that Teguara is in there protecting the paint. Now, without him, everybody needs to really play good weak side defense and be able to help rotate and recover when it's their turn to. McKinney looking for help. Watkins is there. Five seconds on the shot clock. Ryan carving out some space, puts it up, couldn't get it. Gets the offensive board though. Oh, and Trot will go two for one here. They have time. They can attack quick to go two for one. 50 seconds remaining. Bassett has it. Wu providing the pick. Otarian dancing in front of McKinney. That hesitation that he wow. loves puts it off the glass. Great move, great finish. Pretty good defense by McKinney, but a better offense by Bassett that time. Tucker oh. pulls up from deep. Anthony Tucker, money on the three. And Tucker had enough time in his mind. Been back and forth. Odarian Bassett involves his teammates, but he'll get the ball right back, taking that pick from Wu. One and one against McKinney. Ten seconds on their shot clock. They got to switch that. Odarian oh. Bassett, he just finds the gaps in the defense. Just blew by Watkins that time. Eight seconds remaining. McKinney. Mike will put it up. Could not get the lay-in. And he was frustrated that... The ball in the paint. And the other thing, spreading the ball around. Knocking down, you know, long jump. Knocking down three-pointers. 52-48. We open up the third quarter. Macau and Hong Kong. Neighbors in Asia. Connected by a bridge. You can go through a ferry or... If you were, if you want to drive, you can do so, but there is no love between these two teams as for this game is concerned. As you see there, Tucker orchestrating that offensive attack very well. But as you can see, that very first play, Macau tried the hammer action, driving from the, to the baseline and tried to whip that pass to the other baseline, just was out of control. So really, that's the point of control. And now, the first possession of Hong Kong, is a bucket in the paint. And really these two teams, especially Hong Kong, getting a lot of production attacking. Wow. Look at that, Tucker! And he stares down Big Waro, why not? A little snarl towards the big guy. Elliot looking for his. Pulls up, no good. Lai got hit there by Big Waro. Almost got run over by Big Waro. McKinney bit of a hezzy. McKinney now. Macau. Ryan Watkins with the tip and we're all even at 54. Watkins really a hustle rebounder and usually gets rewarded with this effort. Deguara in too deep. Oh! Initially missed the dunk but he stayed with it. Hey, he gets a rebound and two points. Extra stats <laughs> right there, but that's too deep. The Black Bears cannot give up those deep, that kind of deep position to Deguara. Number one, they have to push him out. Number two, they need more ball pressure to make that pass more difficult. Tucker looking for the foul, opens up a lane for Elliott, but he too Blows misses. Up, yeah. Yep, and was also looking for a foul. McKinney's turn to try, drops it to Watkins, shoots over Deguara. I mean, they're really attacking. I know Deguar is a big guy, but his defense is the is no not even getting off the floor. Bassett working with Deguara. Odarian also had 15 points in the first half. We One have of the rare down. misses. One of the rare misses by Bassett. In the first half, Bassett was a very impressive six. First, no, just not not giving up any inch towards each other. Tucker, the kick out pass, almost lost. Watkins now, he loses that ball completely. Dribbled into trouble like right there. Bassett will look to score for the Eastern. Lost control as well. Again, turnovers hurting Hong Kong Eastern. McKinney handing and gliding through the air. Like you said, turnover points. The Macau Blackbirds are really living with their three-point shooting 
and their conversions of Hong Kong's turnovers. In their last game, Hong Kong Eastern gave up 24 points off turnovers. They've given up 13 tonight. But Elliot had an answer for McKinney's layup. And that's the thing. As well as Hong Kong is shooting it from the field, all they have to do is make sure they get up shots. <laughs> that's when you feel the effect of those. The Black Bears take a one-point lead. Elliot looking to erase it. Couldn't do so. Deguara loses it. Macau takes control. Very good job not giving up that offensive rebound to Deguara. McKinney. What a ball fake. Oh, and he gets it to fall. Mike McKinney. A glimpse of creativity. Now you see me, now you don't. With that ball fake, putting Deguara on his heels, almost falling down with that ball fake. Bassett evens up the count again. Neither team allowing the other to get away. He's just feeling it, Judd. He's not missing. A lot of shots. Tucker also with 18. Bassett once again. Double high screen set for him. Now a two-man game between him and Deguara. 5 and 33 remaining in the third quarter. Bassett will pull up from deep. Nothing this time. Tucker with another rebound. McKinney, that's his sweet spot. Misses though. And really, th this team, the Black Bears, I mean, they just have the green light to let go of those early three point shots. Absolutely. They've taken 22 shots from deep. Well, that's a guy who can stroke it. Lao Tsalai, fresh from the bench. Mark of our real shooter. When you're open, let it fly. Doesn't matter if you're warm or not. His first shot of the game and it falls in immediately. McKinney leaves it for Watkins. Bassett just takes that ball away from McKinney. And he is being... Somebody said it's the theater of the unexpected. So that adds more fun to it. The more teams, you know, the more surprises out there. Marcus, and it is now a 68 to 62 lead for Hong Kong Eastern. McKinney getting away from his initial defender, but saw Deguara there. Deguara, you see how getting two free throws there, trimming the deficit down to four points. Four and 20 remaining in the third. Tan Chi Hang, Deguara ceiling. Latsalai, second three of the game, gets it to fall again. He's right now Adam Shu returning to the game. The Eastern extending their defense to the backcourt. Yeah, I was just about to say the previous play, Yu has to just improve his um, recognition of his who he's guarding. Lies a shooter, you can't go under ball scenes and give up open shots to shooters. How about Liu contributing there? The last two points of Macau, courtesy of him, via free throws. This time, he knocks down a triple. Bassett gets away. Out to Elliott. Elliott could not respond. Tucker now. Watkins down on the floor. Anthony Tucker. Not enough English there. DeGuara saving that basketball. Good hustle. Elliott. Marcus will reset their offense by kicking it out to Bassett, his partner. OD to Adam Shu. Back to Bassett. Straight away three. Nothing there. Can Macau score? Liu again. Had to kick it out. Watkins will draw a foul on the game, allowing the other to get away and to break the game open. But those free throws are gonna hurt. Like you said, Coach Josh at the half. The own the lead, the four-point lead of Hong Kong Eastern was mainly because of. The, number, the first guy to reach that total in this game. Under three minutes remaining in the third period. Back up to a five-point lead. A six-point lead, rather. Tucker trims it back to four. Also now with 20 points. It's been a show between those two guards, Bassett and Tucker. Elliott. Good inside pass to Deguara. At that time, Deguara used his body so well. That really is a problem, especially when 
the, the guards, Bassett and Elliot are able to, to, to penetrate. And Watkins needs to help, you know, that opens up the Guaralat, and that's a big target right there. McKinney, Nathan Yu, triple no good. Elliot grabbing that rebound. Tucker steals it away. Tried to go for that Western basketball. Bassett zigzagging. Tried to leave it to Shu. Elliot. One on one against McKinney. They feed the Guara. They involve Lau. Could this be another Big. one? Yes, it is. Big shot because the Guara has already made a couple of baskets in the paint. Now the Black Bears start to collapse, rightfully so. But that opens up the other guys for those three point shots. How about Lau Tsulai? Nine points, three of three. And Ryan Watkins answers back. And that's the opening. In the defense of Hong Kong, the man of the Guara will always be open outside. And like I said, just when you thought, just when you think that Hong Kong is about to pull away. Oh, Sam De Guara showing us that he can also put that ball on the floor. A little bit of dexterity right there for the big guy. Tucker trying to get some space. Great pass to Liu wow. who gets that semi-hook shot to fall in. Again, Liu play with a lot of confidence as a local, not really afraid to, you know, to take big shots. 45 seconds remaining in the third quarter. It's a six-point lead for Eastern. Bassett spots Adam Shoot. The inside pass to Iguara. But, you know, he's a veteran of the ABL. He knows how it is and how he should act. And he's just keeping his cool. Iguara grabs that rebound after a Tucker miss. Bassett. 24 seconds remaining, but there's only 16 on their shot clock. Trying to hold the ball for the final shot. Bassett against McKinney. OD dancing. Ricky Yang getting involved. Empty on the three. Macau on the run. McKinney looking to beat the clock. McKinney couldn't get it. Watkins was fouled. By it's just been contributions from different guys and that's what we love to see here in the ABL guys stepping up as we see Bassett turning the corner of that pick and roll because all of a sudden the man of the Guara doesn't want to leave him and that's been opening up other guys for the for Hong Kong Eastern 82 75 in favor of Hong Kong oh Elliot with that sticky de defense clock to 14 this could be advantage for Tucker he leaves Ricky Yang. Tucker pulls up. Nothing on the three, though. And like you said, he the Black Bears have been taking a lot of threes. Yeah, that's their game, really. That's how they want to counter the Guara, but that's not the way to do it if you're the Black Bears. Absolutely. That hammer put down by the Saminator. And once again, it was a teammate feeding him at the right spot. McKinney. Out to Watkins. Three on the way. It's good. The third three-pointer for Ryan Watkins. And he has to always be ready to shoot that because he will always be open. Again, the Guara just not leaving the paint defensively. Exchange of buckets to open up this period. Elliott steps in. Jumper. No. The Guara with the board. McKinney there trying to take the ball away. Bassett thinking about it. One and one against Liu. Gotta shoot it. Four seconds. Deguara wow. open again. What vision displayed by OD Bassett. Sam Deguara knew just what to do. Confusion now on who's going to help out on Deguara. Because on the bench on that quarter break, the coach of the Black Bears instructed them to not leave the shooters and only the foreman, their foreman, which is Liu, who will be helping out on Deguara. But when Liu is on the perimeter as well, no one is there to drop down on Deguara. Like so. That is the third consecutive jam. The oh. player to target on the move. If you target him with his feet set, then he becomes more dangerous. And if you put that ball where he wants it, he will shoot what he's shooting right now. 12 of 15 from the field. And mostly around the rim. All of it around the rim. Here's Macau now, looking to build on that stoppage, hoping that they get to swing momentum towards their side. They rushed 
and loss in their offensive sets. They got to get back into their execution. Tucker from the corner. No good. Liu with another rebound. He really has been a contributor here, but Teguara just lording over everyone for his 14th board. Bassett using a pick from Elliott. Goes cross court. Lau gets the defender off. And he knocks it down again. This may not be a three pointer, but Lao Tselai is four of four from the field. When a shooter gets going, it's going to be tough to stop him. You know, it's 43% from the field for Macau, which is a decent number, as we mentioned. And there it is again. Eastern, because. You know, when they start hitting their three-point shots, then what do you do? But I say you still protect the paint because that is their strength. If the Guara can get dunks inside, then you're in big trouble. Tucker doesn't get the roll. The Guara, another rebound. That guy is having a career night. 29 points and 15 rebounds. Now that's better. While Watkins is guarding the Guara, somebody's in the paint ready to help from the backside. So that's what you have to do if you're the Macau Black Bears. Elliot says... Okay, cover the paint. I'll shoot over my man. And sadly, you know, you, have, you may have to live with shots like those, but at least they are contested outside shots and not easy dunks in the paint. Watkins misses. And you can feel that the morale of the Macau Black Bears has dipped from the field. And, you know, the three guys, Watkins, McKinney, and uh, Tucker, have yet to take a rest. They've played the whole game, and you know that combined with the opponent's storage shooting, storage shooting, then that really is, you know, that will really drain your energy. And imagine what Macau has had to battle in their last two games. This one included against CLS. Macau had to endure the best three-point shooting night in all of ABL history with the Bassett and Elliott works very well because obviously Sam Deguara will he will naturally um, supplement and complement those two guards but how El Elliot earlier he kind of deferred to Bassett and now here in the fourth quarter it's his time to take over as we see another inside bucket for Hong Kong for Deguara and again because they're comfortable with each other there's no you know, there's no jealousy between the two. They're, they're good friends. So whoever's got it going, they defer to each other. And the woes of Macau continue. They have no more legs. Macau has no more legs. Bassett tried to get an assist. Really is outscoring Macau 25-4 to here in the fourth period. And that's just an insane run that has given them this large, large lead. And maybe... With Coach Torres rotating his players in the first half, even though the game was close, is paying off. Now they have the fresher legs as a team. And as you can see, it's, look like, it's looking like the Bacau Black Bears are a step slow. And energy-wise, it's just down. The energy is not there. And it takes a lot of energy for them to run their offense, you know, to make the, the pace quick and shoot a lot of three-pointers. Elliot, nothing from the elbow. You... Getting that board, Tucker to Watkins. He will have his own version of a hammer, and that's their game: making stops and running the floor. But you can see, you can see the you know mouth of Watkins wide open. He is sucking air, and they're just giving up. You know these easy. Hong Kong Eastern looking to hold on to get a big win on the road, capping off their three-game. Road trip. Elliot sneaks in for the deuce, upping the lead to 29 points, or 27 points rather. Just to at this point, it doesn't seem like there will be enough from Macau to cover this advantage or this deficit that they're facing. Tucker had to send it out. Lao, three, good. And they needed more of that towards the ball game, more support for their three imports. We didn't see any support from, you know, the, the person who's been quiet in this game was um, Nathan Yu. And the play, McKinney to Tucker. Providing some highlights. 
and just trying to even sat on the bench one bit. They're play, they they played the whole game. The Bassett will take his time. We'll try to get some precious seconds off of the clock. Lau will opt to shoot that. They gave him some space, but couldn't get that shot. Yang saves it to Elliott. Hong Kong resets their offense. Six seconds remaining. Elliott working against you. Marcus. Oh, upper body strength there. Still getting that shot despite the bump. Hong Kong now scoring at will. McKinney goes to Watkins. Over to Guara, that's good. A little bit of razzle-dazzle with that pass. Nice behind the back. Spotting Watkins on the cut. What did you feel was lacking for Macau here in this game? Uh, for me, it was the defensive intensity in the fourth quarter. I saw a number of three-point shots that weren't even challenged. You know, there wasn't even a hand up to try to contest those jumpers. To top it all off, when Watkins was out of position, his teammates failed to support backside help for De Guara. And Watkins is really tired. You know, it, it takes a lot of energy for him to try to push De Guara. The contributions of the other guys. You know, they, the other guys made shots. Lau made his, you know, three three-pointers in that sp span. And that opened up everything. And so really, you know, you've got your three world imports dominating the production. But... When the others get involved, when their teammates get involved, all of a sudden the floodgates open up and, and, and now you have this lead. You know, looking at the stat sheet right now, Coach Josh, there are a lot of positives in the game of the Macau Black Bears. Number one, they only committed six. Do you I, think that this is going to be a concern moving forward whenever facing teams with a towering presence like the Guara? Definitely. Every time you face a talented team, uh, teams with as much offensive firepower as you, then you have to battle defensive monster numbers. Again, the key, the key to De Guara was he was able to avoid foul trouble. So he was able to stay on the floor and produce. Well, the crazy thing about the three imports of Hong Kong Eastern in this game, they, in average, the three of them totaled 90 points. So that's an average of 30 per import. And it's just hard to top whenever all of your reinforcements are clicking at the same time. Yeah, shooting at a high rate. And we've already talked about the very, very short play rotation by, of the Macau Black Bears. So if you, more often than not, they, they will not have as much energy towards the end of the game. So that's, that's also a concern that they need to address. Macau just looking to execute in, in their last play. If there was only one thing, Coach, what was the brightest thing, the best thing that Hong Kong was able to do in this game? Well, they were really able to set up the Guara with their sets. And when the Guara was covered inside, they were able to spot their open shooters from the perimeter. Such good execution offensively. That final.